Since the beginning of the pandemic, we've been sharing the emotional stories of families and their journeys with COVID-19. And tonight we're looking back at one of the earliest cases in the state. It is one with which News Center Maine Samantha York is quite familiar. Hi, Sam. Hi, Pat and Cindy. Yeah, when I first spoke with Ashley Jardin last year, everything had just gotten shut down and we had very little information about the coronavirus. She had just posted a photo on social media with the hashtag Pete Strong, hoping to rally the troops and save her dad's life. This is the Jardin family's story. It it all happened so fast. It was like, oh yeah. my God, like I didn't even get to to tell my dad that I that I love him. Ashley Jardin remembers it like yesterday, March 27th, 2020, just the beginning of the pandemic and the beginning of what turned out to be a living hell for her family. Ashley's dad, Pete, was diagnosed with COVID-19 on that Friday. Not even six hours later, the 59-year-old was sent to Maine Medical Center's intensive care unit. Pete couldn't breathe. A ventilator would have to do the breathing for him. Not being able to be by his side because of the no visitor policy. Yeah. Um, that was such a helpless feeling. I was so desperate some days not knowing if he was going to live or die that I literally drove there one night in the middle of the night and just sat in my car. Sorry. Yeah. Just to feel close to him. Pete was healthy and had no underlying conditions. Like many people, he blew off what started as a low grade fever as the common flu. Then all of a sudden it just turned and when it turned, it was quick. He would spend days on the ventilator in a medically induced coma. More bad news. His kidneys too weak to handle the only drug at the time known to lessen COVID-19 symptoms from Desivir. His family unable to see him, unable to hold his hand, unable to do anything. It was so difficult for us not to be able to to be there, you know, to to have to talk to him even though he couldn't talk back to us with him being on the ventilator to talk to him and say what we wanted to say over the phone or yeah. through an ipad this has been really hard not to be with you during this time ashley said it was a terrifying time the first covid case in maine was diagnosed just 16 days earlier pete was one of only 13 cases diagnosed on march 27th not knowing what to do or where to turn, Ashley began sharing her father's story on social media, pleading for help. It's been taking a toll. Soon, Ashley had created a small online community, all rallying around a man most had never met. It was cathartic in a way for me because I was able to talk about it, get feedback, get that emotional support that my mom and I, my family so desperately needed um, in those times of, of helplessness. Pete would spend 11 days in a medically induced coma on life support. His hospital stay stole 30 pounds and his strength. Why do we need physical therapy? I mean, the chair's right there. Can't we just walk over to it? His recovery would have to focus on that. It wasn't until they came in that I then soon realized I couldn't walk. 11 more days and many more hours of physical therapy later, Pete finally got the green light to go home. Just being outside for the first time was just unreal. I wanted to hug him, but I couldn't hug him, which was unfortunate. So that part was a bummer, but it was like, ugh, like I just felt, we just felt so blessed. And then there's just, you know, the, the coming home uh, was really emotional. Never expected in a million years um, the response from, from the town. I just see this parade of cars. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I was blown away. I, we were blown away and something that I know that I'll forever be grateful for. A year later, Pete is getting used to retirement, spending his days bringing the home of his dreams to life and slowing down just enough to enjoy the simple things. COVID-19 took so much from him.
But Pete says, at the same time, he gained something better, perspective. I, I really got this new lease on life, you know, became more important for me to be working for my family and be home and enjoy life. You know, even if it's just cruising around Dresden down to Wiscasset and, and over to Booth Bay and back, right? You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. And I'm happy to report it took nine months, but Ashley was finally able to squeeze her dad again. The two were able to ring in the new year together, which is pretty fitting, a fresh start in family.